keep it in this lockdown what we used to do like the motion player we have a group on whatsapp and on skype and with our coach Yogendran we do um, training every day at 4 p.m. Uh, which consists of several exercises uh, most of the time it's for legs and maybe two times a week it's only upper body so we try to do this every day except on Sundays which is off Hello guys, this is Ioannita Schools from South Africa and I'm here to answer a few questions um, The first question was how did I keep fit during the lockdown? Well. I'm quite fortunate to be staying in an open range of space, so I went jogging, sprinting, even cycling. I focused a lot on physical strength and I also downloaded the HomeCord app which focuses a lot on agility and fast speed reactions. Hello everyone, my name is Okoyogi Anoluapo. I'm a badminton player and I'm here to answer some few questions. I try to keep it by exercising, which are jogging, running, and stretching. Through this lockdown, as it's very difficult to be on court or to play badminton, uh, my coach has given me some physical exercises uh, that could be done at home. Uh, so I'm trying to do them every day. Bonjour à tous et plus à la mairie. Comment je me suis entretenu physiquement pendant ce confinement? Donc j'ai fait des exercices de renforcement musculaire à la maison. Euh, et je suis allé courir aussi euh, pas très loin de la maison parce que euh, on devait respecter une distance de 1 km autour de, du foyer euh, familial. Donc j'ai fait des, des footings et des du fractionné. Et maintenant que, que le confinement est levé, bah, j'ai recommencé à faire du vélo donc pour travailler euh, l'endurance euh, endurance physique. <rire> I always do some some jogging on the nearby school here at my home. So that's how I keep myself fit. So apart from doing exercises, I try to keep myself entertained. I'm playing some video games, cooking with my parents and also we start we did some plantation of cooking herbs in our garden. And that's it, so um, we try to keep busy most of the time. I kept myself busy with making face masks because at the moment I'm studying fashion design. So I would make face masks and sell them to customers to prevent the coronavirus. There are other stuff that I do apart from exercising which keep me busy during this lockdown. Sleeping, watching movie, reading, listening to music once in a while. Part exercising, I'm studying, um, watching movies, reading, uh, cooking, um, and painting. What did I do during this pandemic apart from working physically? I used to use my studies, my studies of engineering, because my partials, my examples, they come in June, so I've been working for the time to work on all these materials. So that's it, now I'm going to work on it. Je crois que ça va aller et puis voilà, quoi, ça m'a pris du temps. Donc du lundi au vendredi j'ai cours. Ensuite, euh, ensuite le week-end c'est un peu relâche. Et puis voilà. There is a whole day package that was given to me from school that I always do after my morning jogging in order to keep myself fit. Olympics being postponed is very hard for me as I have been training for two years abroad mostly in Malaysia and India with my uh, head coach Yogendran so it was very it was a very tough decision to accept as I have to wait for one more year and keep on training this high in intensity one more year but it's it was the only logical option from the BWF and the World Olympic Committee to postpone it for one year because of the virus so yeah, I have to accept it and keep my mental strong to perform next year for the Olympics. The Olympics 2020, well, I'm happy and sad that it got postponed to 2021. Um, happy because that we still have been given the opportunity to attend the Olympics healthy and safe. Um, sad because it had to be postponed to a later stage and it couldn't be now. 
um, was quite looking forward to that. I actually feel bad about the Olympic being postponed. It's heartbroken, but it's for the benefit of everybody. And due to the pandemic that is coronavirus that is outside, it is actually not safe out there. So it's better for us to stay at home than to risk or endanger the life of athletes or any other person. Actually, I was a bit down and very sad, um, but I felt like I should focus more on our health. Um, I think it was a good decision. Um, and also we have the chance to, to train more, to be ready and to be more fit. For the Olympic, Olympic Games to be postponed, I didn't feel anything bad. I mean, it was... Uh, because it's normal since the whole world was affected. My favorite meal, I would say, is Chinese food. I really love Chinese culture and the Chinese food. And my favorite movie, I don't have one in particular. Maybe I will say my top three, which may be Avatar, uh, Interstellar, and I Am Legend from Will Smith. And my favorite music, I have so many, but I think for now it's African song from Burna Boy, which I really like the tempo and the beat. My favorite meal, I must say, is quite simple and easy to make. It's mac and cheese. It's not very healthy, but it's very nice. Uh, <laughs> my favorite music, well, I don't really have a specific genre I like the most. I like all type of music, gospel, um, jazz, hip hop, rap, anything. My favorite movie, badminton wise, I would say is Whiplash. It focuses a lot on commitment and the op offerings you have to make to become a professional player. It also teaches us that you have to have responsibility and respect for all the people around you and for all your coaches. My favorite meal is bread and beans. My favorite movie is Small View. My favorite music is Ed Sheeran. Perfect. Um, my favorite meal is pasta. Uh, my favorite movie is, is uh, Aladdin and the 14 Hour Stars. My favorite music uh, for me um, Arabic music is the best. Mon plat préféré c'est euh, le saumon. Le saumon c'est vraiment vraiment très très bon. Et euh, aussi le barbecue. En plus là il fait beau et tout donc euh, on en profite pour être dehors avec la famille, les parents, mes, mes soeurs. Donc voilà. J'en ai profité pour revoir mon, mon film préféré, euh, Interstellar. Donc si vous l'avez pas vu, euh, foncez le voir, euh, vraiment top. Ce film euh, vraiment génial. Pour la musique, j'ai pas de musique préférée. C'est vraiment euh, un artiste que j'écoute en ce moment, c'est Nino. Donc j'écoute toutes ses musiques, tout son album, tous ses albums et, et voilà, donc euh, écoutez-le aussi. My favorite meal is uh, Matoke and Beef. And then a uh, movie, I love high school movies. Then I love slow songs. Yeah, that's my type of songs. One funny situation I face in badminton, I think, would be sometimes when we train very hard, we have physical training, and at one point we start getting cramps. So at this point, you cannot even laugh or make jokes, and this is actually funny as in this particular moment you want to laugh when you look at your friends who are cramping also. So the funniest situation I've got myself into badminton was a few years ago when I was still a junior. Um, we were playing this local tournament and um, I was umpiring this match. And as I was umpiring, I was holding two, like this large Oreo box. And as I opened it, I opened it too wide and all the Oreos flew all over court. So that stop the game and first clean of the court before the game continue. <laughs> There's no jo um, funny or joke movement for me in badminton. It has always been serious, so you forgive me on this one. While I was playing uh, semi final mixed doubles, uh, Africa Championship 2017, it was a very important one, uh, 19 on, and my partner hit and broke my racket. 
and they look at my racket and they don't know what to do and what to say and he was still playing playing around me and they keep looking to my racket and to him <laughs> don't know what to do and then we lose the game in a funny situation um, the reactions taken by a short tempered player during a match I would like to say to my African, my junior and the African players is to keep fit and motivated as your training today will be your gains for tomorrow and hopefully you will compete at a higher level to take this lockdown as a positive and like do training on yourself it will be benefits for your future career. And the last message I have for all African players is that keep safe, stay at home, keep training. Thank you. My uh, advice to everybody is that, in Africa especially, is that we should try and stay fit, stay strong, and uh, listen to the government instruction about the safety of the coronavirus. And at most, we should be hopeful that it will get better, especially in Africa. Thank you very much. God bless you. Finally, I would like to say to stay strong during this time uh, because we are all going through the same thing. Um, take this opportunity to learn something new, to know more about yourself. Uh, also, you have the time to do some exercises uh, physical and mental. Uh, I know it's very difficult period, but if we stay together, it will pass um, and everything will be okay. So please all take care, uh, stay strong, stay safe, and stay home. À tous les joueurs de badminton africain de badminton, euh, voilà donc euh, petit message pour. Euh, Pour vous souhaiter bon courage, prenez soin de vous et puis euh, et puis faites le nécessaire pour que, que le confinement euh, ait servi à quelque chose et que afin de respecter les consignes sanitaires. Euh, voilà, donc prenez soin de vous et à bientôt.